This week, we are going up against uh, Paddy Trills, my good friend. Uh, so make sure to go ahead, check out his channel. His links will be down below in the description because his team is super scary. It is super, super scary. The statues aren't really doing the best right now. I mean, it's it, we don't have any chance of playoff or anything like that. So I'm just trying my best to try and get neutral. So at least like I can be on the same level. So I'm not losing. I'm not winning in a sense. Uh, so we're going to try our hardest with the rest of these battles for sure. Picking up the W from last week, which was really, really good for us. Uh, we ended up taking a 3-0 against that's a plus one. So if you guys missed it, there is a um, a playlist link in the description for the WBE this year. Uh, so make sure to go ahead and check it out. Um, So Paddy's team, real quick, uh, does consist of a lot of threats. And I mean a lot of threats, dude. Like, taking a look at his team, man. Um, Obviously, you can't see it on here. Uh, but he has Necrozma, Silvalia, Incineroar, Milotic, Alcremi, Braviary, Jolteon, Mianxiao, Ferrocede, Golurk, and Weezing. Um, I've gone ahead and put together something um, that I, I, me and the front office kind of feel like he's going to bring. Shout out to the front office, as always. Uh, the guys are always helping me build my team, so shout out to those guys, too. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys what I think Paddy is going to bring uh, this time around. So I'm thinking he's going to bring in the Mianxiao. Um, it's either going to be the Sash or it's going to be a Choice Scarf. Um, we know this thing's quite a fast Pokemon. Uh, we do have a couple of answers to it. I am running Protect in a few months, um, just in case the High Jump Kit wants to pop off or anything like that onto the QRM or, you know, onto the onto the Quagsire that I'm bringing. Um, but I think this week he might bring the, the Mien Shao, the Sylv Valley, the Incineroar, Jolteon, Ferrocid, and Necrozma. Now, the reason why, of course, I put the Fairy Memory on um, the Sylv Valley it's just because it really does hit my team quite hard. I mean, we have Pokemon like Hazel that gets done over with the multi-attack um, from the, the Fairy Sil Valley. Of course, it hits Noodle really hard as well. It's going to hit Woofter quite hard too. So Sil Valley is the biggest threat, I feel like, on his team. So I've had to try my best to work away, you know, around the Sil Valley. So if I can kill it quick, it's, it's really going to help me out. Um, so, of course, like I said, he's got the Silvalet, he's got the Incineroar, the Jolteon, the Ferrocede, and the Necrozma. Ferrocede, again, can be a little bit of a threat. I know it's it's only, you know, it's, it's a crappy Pokemon, but you Eevee like this thing and you run Gyro Ball on it, it's doing absolute bits to my team. The only Pokemon, which we ran literally so many calcs, and the only Pokemon that can kill this thing is either Hazel or Noodle. If I lose them two, I, I literally, I cannot kill the... The Pharaoh Seed, because it just sits there and takes hits and just leech seeds me. I cannot kill it. So I do need to bear that in mind when going against Paddy today. I need to make sure that I'm keeping Hazel and Noodle around. Um, so we're bringing uh, Quagsire, Hurem, uh, Pangoro, Scizor, just because Scizor's been doing so many, you know, bits literally on the on the WBE battles is that we've had currently. So ever since we got him. Uh, you know, he helped us win last week's battle. He put in so much work in the other week's battle. So I want to keep bringing him because he is he's a good Pokemon. Um, we're bringing Scizor, Raichu, which I'm really happy about. I love using Raichu. And we're bringing Woofter, which is the Lycan Rock as well. Now, we had a really interesting set uh, before this. We are running Focus Sash Technician with Swords Dance, Bullet Punch, X Scissor, and Superpower. Now, we did have an interesting set uh, before we swapped over from Sash. The only reason why we swapped over from Sash... Um, from the item that we were using is literally just because of Necrozma. Now, I was, we were running Adrenaline Orb on this thing. So my whole idea was to lead uh, Scizor, and he leads anything else apart from the Necrozma, the Incineroar, and the... and the Weezing, I do believe it was. If he led anything... So if he led, like, Milotic or anything like that, uh, the Alcremie, I could literally just Swords Dance up. My idea, then he would go into the Incineroar to get the Intimidate drop off on my Scizor. But then, because I had the Adrenaline Orb, it was going to put me at plus one attack uh, and a plus one uh, speed as well. Which is still enough for a superpower to kill the Incineroar. And then it's just going to be doing damage to all of his team. I know, of course, superpower lowers your attack uh, and your defense as well by one. So we go back to neutral. But a huge threat like Incineroar would be gone already. And we could literally just sit there and just start X scissoring, bullet punching, and stuff like that. Um, but we had an idea. What if he leads Necrozma? So if he does bring Necrozma, he leads it. It has Heat Wave. Now, we run the Sash on it literally just because of this. Um, oh, you can't see that. I've had to stretch my uh, my screen out just so you can see this. Uh, but, but basically, let me go over to here and do the Scizor. If I do Necrozma... Um, 
let's just say he goes to the heat wave, um, and I do get a plus two attack. You know, like egg scissors killing the thing. I wouldn't even really need to go um for it, to be fair. I mean, egg scissors doing enough, which is 65 to 76. And then Bullet Punch can easily pick up the KO there. Uh, even the only thing, I mean, if I got the lowest roll and then a lowest roll, I'd be so sad. Like, I would be so sad because Heat Wave's just literally two shotting me. Um, but this set is with the Adrenaline Orb. Um, I've made up, oh, but of course, it's going to be Sash. Um, so I can't just sit there. If Necrozma leads, I can't just sit there and like SD. So we changed it to Focus Sash just off the off chance. You know, we want to take a hit. We can X Scissor the Necrozma if it leads. As he goes for the heat wave. I know full well he's gonna be packing heat wave. Literally, just because he would have seen how much like Scizor can do. Alright, has been doing, so he knows full well I'll be bringing it this week. Another Pokemon uh, that would bring it again, of course, is Pangoro. Pangoro's literally just been all the time. Um, try to get him some more kills. I want to get him some more kills. We have knockoff, drain punch, close combat, and bullet punch. We don't need Scrappy this week. He doesn't have any ghost type Pokemon. Um, I do believe. Uh, apart from the Golurk. Oh, but, but that's fine. I'm, I've literally got it covered with knockoff and stuff like that. Of course, it's choice banded. Um, so I do need to keep Pangoro arrived. This thing can do um, absolute damage. It's free damage. Literally, knockoff is hurting everything on his team. Uh, even the Alcremi is still going to do a little bit to it. And then we just come in with a bullet punch. Uh, that thing is quite bulky, so we do have to remember that. Um, and then, of course, Hazel this week is running Protect, Drag uh, Draco Meteor, Ice Beam, and Earth Power. This is the first time I'm running like a Life or Protect set. Literally, the protect set is just for the Mian Shell for the high jump kick. That I might actually, if we led with Hazel, I could genuinely feel like he'd either think we're scarfed or he'd even think we're sashed. So if he went for the high jump kick, I could protect. It's it's something good to have. It definitely is something good to have. So of course we're running protect on it. Draco Media just to do damage to all his team in general. Uh, Ice Beam is really really nice as well as it's going to hit the uh, the Jolteon. It's going to hit the Alcremi as well. Two hits to the Alcremi which is really nice. It two hits the Ferro Seed, uh, which is really, really nice as well. So, of course, we need Hazel to be alive. Sherbet is coming with Toxic, Recover, Scold, and Protect again. Protect literally just for the Mian Shell. Literally for the Mian Shell. Good Scouter as well, but it's there just for the Mian Shell, just in case he wants to bring it as well. My hair is literally on a different level. You see how short my hair is now, by the way? Um, For other people, literally, I know I always have long hair. Uh, it's hella short now. Uh, but yeah, and then, of course, we're bringing Patches. We Surf, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, and Focus Blast. The Assault Vest, a little bit just to take hits. We got Surfer there just to also hit the Incineroar. Thunderbolt as well, uh, just to hit the majority of his mungs, like the uh, the Milotic, the Braviary, the Mian Shao, the Weezing, and stuff like that. Uh, and then, of course, Woofter is last with Cell Rock, Stealth Rock, Crunch, and Stone Edge with a Focus Sash 2. Of course, his Pokemon is quite frail, uh, but if I could get the Rocks up as well, it's going to be really nice for me. I mean, his Defogger, who's his Defogger? Weezing? Um... The Braviary. I think that's, those are his only two defoggers. I probably am missing out somebody, so I do apologize. Um, but um, I'm pretty sure those are his only two. Um, in fact, if I go to his team here, I'm pretty sure it shows me his uh, hazard control. Uh, Braviary with defog. Uh, Silvalli also gets defog as well. Uh, Weezing doesn't get defog, which is really, really interesting. I thought it did. Um, so the Silvalli and... The Braviary do get the default. Um, his Clerics, the Alcremian Jolteon with Heal Bell and Wish, which is fine. Priorix is Incineroar, uh, Fake Out, Quick Attack, Fake Out, Faint, Attack. Ha. Um, but yes, I'm I'm really, really happy with the team this week. Really, really happy with this team this week. I think we should we should be able to do well. Um, we were considering bringing like Miltank and Jelly Scent. I think we were considering bringing Miltank over the patches, uh, and of course Jelly Scent as well over Zoot. But I kind of, we kind of build this team to be really offensive, where, like, it, the other Pokemon don't really have many switch-ins, but we don't really have many switch-ins, in a sense, because I don't want damage on most of my Pokemon. So, like, Patches and Sherbet are going to be the ones that are going to, like, take hits, because of the AV, uh, and, of course, uh, Sherbet, because it's bulky. Uh, and the rest are literally just going to be all offensive. So, my plan is really to lead with Zoot, uh, and see what else he wants to lead with. If I can get a free Swords Dance up, that's fine. Um, but if not... We'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, that's pretty much the team builder for the uh, for this week's battle. I hope you guys are excited. I'm going to pass it on to Future Me. And hopefully Future Me uh, can pull out a W. Because if we do get a W, uh, we do go to... I'm pretty sure it is... Uh, it's 3 and 5, which is really decent for us. 
Um, we'll go three and five to say we've not done draft league battles in a very long time. Three and five is very, very good for us. So if we could do that, then I'd, I'd be happy with that. I really would. Then that's two more battles, which we have uh, Chimpact and then the Georgia, uh, the Georgia Goomers. Goomers. Um, so if we win those two games, if we win the next three games, uh, so we go three and we we'll go five and five, which is which is neutral. So if I can win the rest of my games, we go neutral. I'm happy with that, but we'll see. Uh, but yes, of course, I'll pass it over to future me. Please leave a like if you guys are excited for the battle. Of course, subscribe if you guys are new. Please check out Paddy's channel. But yeah, with all that being said, I'll see you guys back uh, in the battle. Bye. All right, what is good, everybody? We are here doing our WBE battle. Now, um, he's got the Sylvali, the Incinerator. It's actually the full team that we had. Oh, my days. It's actually the team that we prepped for. Um, okay, this is actually good. He's got the Incineroar, got the Jolteon, the Mian Xiao. Um, I think he leads Mian Xiao a hundred percent. I still want to lead Zoot uh, and possibly go for the Swords Dance. He could lead um Jolteon. I think he leads Mian Xiao, to be fair. I think it'd be good for us maybe to lead Woofta, get the rocks up early. Hmm. Um Oh, do I want to lead uh Zoot? On the off chance he leads, like, if he does lead in Mian Xiao. You know what? I'm going to lead Zoot. I'm going to lead Zoot because we still got to try and stick to the plan uh, that we had. We're going to we're gonna stick to the plan that we had. All right, let's see. Here we go, baby. WB week, like, eight, I think. I don't know. I forget after these times. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to lead Zoot, which we originally planned to do. We'll see. He leads the Pharaoh Seed. Okay. So he's going to leech Seed up. Actually, not too bad for me. I could straight up here if I wanted to. Um, Swords Dance and Superpower. If I wanted to. What's it do? Spikes, Gyro Ball, Knock Off, Leech Seed? I'll do it. Ah, uh, the leech is gonna break my uh, my sash though. Hmm. That's fine though. My plan literally was just—I'm just sticking to my gut. My plan was to literally just lead out and go swords dance. So he might just set up spikes. He sets up the rocks. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I think honestly, I just superpower. Kill this big Pokemon in one. Does he stay in? I actually, I could go Swords Dance again, to be fair, but he wouldn't stay in. Um. I'll Superpower, just to kill this thing. He stays in, I go Superpower. And that thing's dead. Alright, so Zoot picks up a kill, which is really good for us. Pharisees out of the way. Take the Iron Barb, so our Sash is broken, unfortunately. Um, but I needed to keep- I literally- Pharaoh C was a big problem for me because it took all my special hits. Um, but that's fine. Now I've got it out of the way. I do have rocks up on my side. He probably goes, what, Incineroar here? He goes Incineroar. Yep, he does. It gets the swords and stuff. That's fine. I could literally just now go into Sherbet. Would it be? Nah, we'll take rocks damage from that. Okay. Let's go Sherbet. We'll go Sherbet. At least we got rid of the Pharaoh Seed really early on, which I'm really happy about. We'll go into Sherbet. We'll go into Sherbet. He's got to predict this. You have to predict this, Pat. You have to, brother. Take the rocks. All right, goes for the knockoff. That's fine. We still take any hit that this thing wants to drop on us. Now, here, I really want to go for a Toxic. He's going to predict the skull. I think he goes into Necrozma. Because he doesn't have... What? He doesn't have the Pharaoh Seed. And a free Toxic on anything here is really, really nice. A free Toxic here is very, very nice. 
I could click recover. Or I could, could protect, but if he swaps out, then that's going to be annoyed. He's probably predicting the toxic. He's probably predicting the toxic. But I'm going to go toxic anyways. Now he goes for parting shot. Okay, so he's going to lower my attack here. Which is fine. I mean, Sherbet's really not necessarily, like, doing anything. He's kind of here just to take hits. So a toxic will pop off on, hopefully, on whatever he goes into. If he goes Necrozma, that's huge. If he goes Necrozma, that's huge. I really hope he goes Necrozma. But then again, Toxic on anything on his team is actually huge for us. It's actually huge. Let me keep looking at his team, because it's literally the, set, the team that we built for. So if he goes Necrozma, that's alright. He may go Silvale, and that's still good. That is still good. He goes Necrozma. Alright, bet, 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 bet. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Toxic pop off now. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, cool. So, Necrozma likes to set up in people's faces. This thing loves to set up in people's faces, right? But what do you now go? What's he going to be running like? Calm Mind, Heat Wave, Photon Gazer, Moonlight. I kind of want to just protect. Because Necrozma... Or would he just go straight for the Photon Gazer? I mean, I go Raichu. T-Ball. Even going into, like... Noodle here. It's pretty nice. We could go Noodle. We can go Noodle. If he wants to literally go for like Photon Gazer, I'm fine with that. We'll go Noodle. We take the rocks. He goes for the Dark Pulse. Alright, not bad, not bad. We still resist it, which is really, really nice. Um, We don't outspeed it. But now something is going to take a big fat knockoff, which... I'm pretty sure he really doesn't want anything on his team to take a knockoff. He may actually go into the Incineroar to take for the Intimidate, but I'm scrappy. So how much is that doing on an Incineroar? I am banded. I am banded. A knockoff's doing half to him. Uh, this Necrozma is going to swap out. I know he is. 100%. So I kind of want to just Drain Punch. I kind of want to Drain Punch, because I know you're going to swap out, aren't you, Pat? You have to swap out. You wouldn't stay in on a knockoff. Ah, knockoff's good, though. Knockoff's good. Knockoff's good. I should have got Drain Punch here, but, yep, you withdrew. He goes into the Soul Valley. It might be the Fairy type. It is Fairy type. Okay, cool. That's fine. Yeah, it is the fairy type. Uh, again here now. Silvale. Fairy. On me now. If I go into... Oh, he goes flamethrower here, don't you? He goes flamethrower here, 100%. Um... I kind of want to go back into Sherbet. I'm alright with letting Amon go down. I'm 100% okay with letting Amon go down. Go to the multi-attack, yep. Uh, I think that... We survive, we survive, which is really, really good. Um, He's probably going to go for the multi-attack yet again to try and kill me. So... I could now take the chance to go into Zoot. I'm going to double out, go into Zoot on the multi-attack. He wouldn't click Flamethrow. If he clicks Flamethrow here, that's a huge play. That's actually a huge play. Pat, if you click Flamethrow here, man, that is an insane play. It goes for the multi-attack. Okay, this is doing 24 to 29. Yeah, no, no, no. Now I pressure him out with a bullet punch. Bullet punch should kill from here. Does he swap, though? 
You don't swap, do you? You don't swap. Bullet Punch hits everything on his team. I have to try and kill this Soul Valley. If I can get a high roll at 82. High roll is 82. He stays in, takes the Bullet Punch. No, low roll. That's some four. That's a go. He goes flame throw here. Yep. Okay. That's unfortunate. That really is unfortunate. I got the lowest roll there with 68. Uh, Zoo goes down. That's fine, though. That's fine. Um, Pang comes in. And I bullet punch it. I don't outspeed it, so I have to go for the bullet punch. Ooh, that's unfortunate, but I have to bullet punch this thing. I have to bullet punch this thing. I really need to get my rocks up. I really need to get my rocks up. He might preserve Silvalli, but we'll see. Bullet Punch Oko's it. He withdrew. Uh, close combat here would have been nice then. Because it'd be in shell. Doing a bit. Doing a bit. Um. Okay. So who do you go now? Manchow probably goes for U-turn here. Still doing a lot to Raichu, man. Do I let my tanks go down? Like, Sherbert go down? And then get a free swap into Hazel and start, like, hitting things? Or to Woofter? Um. Nah, I have to. Yeah, he just presses U-turn here. He presses U-turn here. That goes for the Drain Punch. Okay, that's fine. So now, if I go... Lycanroc Dusk. Really not doing a lot. I am... I'm letting Mons go down here way too quick, though. Alright, well, he's not Scarfed. I think... If I go, like, hard into Hazel, they'll think I'm scarfed. Ah, oh, man. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. I'm in a little bit of a position here now. My sash is broken because of rocks. My sash is broken because of rocks. It's me and Shout's a big problem, man. It's a big problem. It's a big problem. I outspeed it, but... Is it... Do I use it just to get rocks up? Because Stone Edge is not doing a lot. Or Crunch. I have to get rocks up, don't I? Just so, like... Oh, he outspeeds me! Wait. Men shout at Jolly Max is 252. Wait. It's the wrong Woofter. Has to be the wrong Woofter. I'm at 224 speed. Which I outspeed him by one point to 173. Is at 172. Wait. It's the wrong one. What the hell? Oh, my days. I just threw... I'm throwing. Oh, that's awful. All right. This is not good. Um... Okay, well, Raichu's here. I outspeed this thing. I have to T-bolt it. I mean, do we survive a Drain Punch? I don't think we survive a Drain Punch from Mian Xiao. Oh, we kind of do, but after rocks? Ooh. No, we have to T-bolt. He is Scarf! What am I doing? Oh my god, I've threw. Yeah, I can't beat this Scarf Mian Shell. I can't beat it. I can't beat Scarf Mian Shell. What the hell? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That sucks. I literally cannot beat Scarf Mian Shell. 
I cannot beat this thing. Yeah, he kills me because of rocks. Mian Xiao actually sweeping. Okay, he needs to get the lowest of rolls. He needs to get the lowest of rolls. Yeah, he just keeps clicking Drain Punch. He needs to get a low roll for me to survive. No, okay. Yeah, I lost. Ta! Bro! How do we, like, get fi- What?! Oh my god. I literally can't believe that. That's the quickest game I literally ever had. Bruh, GG. I literally... That is mad. I can't beat this thing. I literally can't beat this thing. I should've, man. No, I can't beat this thing. I cannot beat this thing. I have to crit it. No, yeah. I mean, it's GG. It's GG's. I really don't know where I went wrong. I am so... Thrown back. <laughs> well, GG's, Pat, my G. I need to look back at that because I don't know actually where I went wrong. I thought I was in a good position. I think I sacked off way too many mons, like, straight away. That's crazy. That is crazy. Well, I'm going to get up and out. I have nothing to say. GG's to Pat. He played that sick. Um, Definitely check out my man's channel. His links will be down below in the description. I played that really bad, I think. Um, I don't know what I could have done. Um, I definitely need to check back on what I did because I was something that was mad. Uh, but we'll get Pat the win, of course. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you did enjoy, thumbs up the video. It's unfortunate, but hey, well, we had a win last week. We take a loss this week. It's it's whatever. We'll, we'll try to get back onto neutral grounds next week. Uh, but yes, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys back in a brand new video next time. Bye! Alright, welcome to a little recap of the battle. I kind of want to start doing these um, a little bit more, where we recap going over the things that I think that we did wrong, uh, and try and, you know, see, like, what I could have done better, and maybe... Um, I do want to point out, uh, I think at one point in the battle, I was really confused on how the the Ashao was outspeeding me, and I didn't click on it, it was scarfed, and I'm, I'm looking back at it now, I feel so dumb. So please, please, please don't be mad and say, Chrissy, he's scarf. Don't be putting that in the comment section. Looking back, I completely met, like forgot, and I know, I know. I think the most, uh, the deciding factor for me here is when the Sil Valley went down. Um, And this is how much, like, we'll see how much, like, Bullet Punch here literally did nothing. I think here, maybe if I would have gone into uh, Kyurem or anything like that, I might have been better. But I think the deciding fact uh, of the matchup was here. So, his Sil Valley was, a, like, this amount of health. Uh, and I had the decision to make here whether I clicked Bullet Punch or I clicked uh, Close Combat. And I think my mind uh, for this, for me, was, okay, I have to click Bullet Punch because this thing sat in front of me. Will he swap or will he save it? Um, I, bro, why? My hair literally looks like Lord, Lord Christmas. <laughs> I had a dumb and dumber. What did my hair do? Um, but, yeah, I kind of had to make a, a decision where do I click... Uh, bullet punch or do I click close combat because if I would have close combat um, on when he was swapping into the shell close combat would have ripped this thing off uh, and I would have been in much better position uh, but I had to click bullet punch just in case he didn't swap because I didn't outspeed the Sil Valley so that was my only play uh, that I could have done I guess in these type like in these situations you need to kind of attack what's in front of you um, I've always been told uh, but I think when that happened that was the deciding factor of the match here so, we'll go back, take a little recap of it real quick here. I'll do it really, really quick for you guys. So, he goes out with Pharisee, which is really all right for me. Let me get a free Swords Dance up. The rocks really didn't matter too much this game, I guess. They broke my Sash on the, the, the Lycan Rock. But, I mean, what was Lycan Rock doing to this thingy anyways? It was, it was doing nothing. Um, I Swords Dance up here. He's got his rocks up, which is fine. I still have my Sash. Um, I... What did I do? I uh, super powered here. Killed the Pharisee, but I got rid of my Sash with the Iron Barbs, which put me in a good position. Uh, goes into Incineroar, which is fine. Um, I go into Quagsire. We take the hit. I do get the Toxic off. Like, here was really, really good play. Like, I was in a good position. You know, his Rock is down. Um, his Necrozma was toxic like I wanted it to be. Uh, good position. Absolutely good position here. 
um, goes into the Necrozma here. Um, I was like, all right, cool. I can pretty much take any hit. I'm going to Noodle to take the Dark Pulse, which is fine here. I think maybe if I would have gone, like, even close combat uh, on... Because I knew he was swapping, didn't I? I absolutely knew he was swapping. So if we would have gone... Let me have a look at the uh, the the calc. So it's Silvalli Fairy. Oh, I have his poke paste here. Um, I'm pretty sure I have his poke paste right here. Just a second. Um, let me get my Discord up. Discord, Discord, where are you? You're there. Um, okay. Let me get his up. So I can just put his set in to see how much it actually would have done to the... Because if I would have gone for the close combat. Um, let me get rid of that. Put you in there. Okay, uh, clear set. Let me show. Okay, so if I... At least like even that, even if I would have gone the close combat, it would have done 41 to 49. Which... It's really not doing a lot. I mean, the knockoff, because it was the fairy type, it didn't really do much, so it did 20 to 30. So maybe going for the close combat there would have been better. He would have gone for the multi-attack on... Um, I guess he would have gone for the multi-attack as I would have gone into Zoot. Maybe I shouldn't have gone Sherbet here. I should have gone into Zoot to take the multi-attack. I would have put more pressure on in them because I would have been able to go into Scizor uh, and Bullet Punch... Bearing in mind he would have been at like 50% already with the close combat. Um, it would have died because it was doing minimum 57 uh to his Sil Valley. Which that thing would have been then dead. Um, I wouldn't have to, you know, be in a position where he probably would have gone into the Shao. I could have sacked something off, but to be fair, that thing choice scarfed killed all my team. Literally, I I think I didn't prep enough for the the Shao. I really don't feel like I didn't prep for Scarf Shao at all, which I should have to be fair, because it's pretty much the thing like everyone brings. I didn't prep. Maybe if I would have brought like Jellicent or even, you know, I don't know how much Mian Shao would actually do. Um I do have a say here to uh the Alola to a Alolan Nine Tails. Cause power's like, how come no Alolan Nine Tails? Um So let me Nine Tails. Or the Aurora Veil. Um, let's take a look. So, I mean, Drain Punch was doing only, like, 48 to 52. If I would have been, like, you know, scarfed myself. um, I mean, do we outspeed it? So, scarf, like, if I put choice scarf. I would have been 265. Yeah, I would have outsped um, his... I would have outsped 173 and nine tails is at level 50. It is three. It is. Oh my god, that's the wrong nine tails. I do apologize. I'm kind of all over the place at the minute. Um, it is choice scarf at level 50. 177, so I would have outsped it, yep, uh, and I would have gone for, like, the Blizzard. Um, it was doing 50 to 60. Wouldn't it be too bad that I could have come in with maybe, like, Pangoro uh, and bullet punched it, or with the Zoot, I would have had still Scizor, and I could have uh, bullet punched it there. Um, yeah, so that happened, and I kind of, and, like, from there, that was just the deciding factor right there for me. Um, his just, his Mian Shao literally just sweeped. Um, my whole six team. Me and Shao literally sweep my full team. Which is mad. No, no, I mean he's sweet five months, but it's still mad. Yeah, I, I didn't prep enough for the Mian Shao, um, and it absolutely just sank me, whatever I did. Uh, which is unfortunate, uh, but I guess it's, uh, prep better for, uh, Mian Shao next time I, uh, ever play this thing. Uh, unfortunate, but hey, you know... That's the only thing with my team. I feel like it is really weak to fighting type moves uh, and stuff like that. Because, like, if we do take a look at my team, um, I have Pokemon like Kyurem, Scizor, uh, Kyurem, which is weak to it. Uh, Lycanroc, Alolan Ninetales, um, Pangoro, Miltank. You know, I do have um, a few fighting type, which is not fun. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll let Pat have the dub. Um, uh, and we'll move on to next week. I think just for me, that was the most deciding fact there. Maybe if I would have been risky and clicked the close combat, I could have had a different, t like, game. Um, but 
Fair play to Pat. He did the right thing. And I kind of feel like I did the right thing pressing Bullet Punch. But I mean, it's just the fact that I was attacking something in front of me. I didn't think, you know, he'd bother. I knew he already knew I had Bullet Punch on this thing. Um, It was just the fact, would he keep it around being on such low health? You know, but it's whatever. Because if I would have got close combat, it would have killed the, uh, the Mian Xiao and we would have been in a different position. I still at this point would have had how many Pokemon? I was still had four Pokemon left. How many would I have? Because I killed my Scizor. Would I have five? I'd still have five Mons left. Yeah, I'd still have five Mons left. Knowing full well that I just killed his Mian Xiao. Uh, and, you know, like Hazel would have been able to do some damage because the rest of his team wasn't Scarfed. At uh, the point, I didn't know that, to be fair. But, like, he only had uh, the Jolteon, the Incineroar, uh, and Necrozma. Then he would have had this thing at quite low health. Which I would have been able to then kill with Noodle around. So yeah, um, that was just the one, it was the one move that decided the whole game. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, I had to attack the thing that was in front of me. So I just wanted to tell you guys that I do realize that I needed to do that. I should have maybe clicked close combat. But at the time, you can't really, I guess, argue with it. Because it was the right play, but it wasn't the right play in a sense. But hey, it's whatever. Uh, because then, what if he would have killed Noodle? Then who do I go into? Maybe go Hazel uh, and put some pressure on I don't know. Maybe it was the right thing to do. I didn't know how these things want to go because he would have killed Noodle. Then I wouldn't have my priority bullet punch. Could have that zoot went down. And the rest of my team just got hit hard. Um, I guess with Necrozma, considering that I don't have Noodle. You know, it, it would have been hard for me to try and kill off the Necrozma, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate the support on the WBE. It is absolutely thrilling. And I'm looking to join another one. So if you guys know any, w, uh, know any other draft league... Um, you know, I'd be, I'd be down to join, 100% down to join. So let me know in the comment section. It'd be greatly appreciated. With all that being said, uh, yes, we'll move on to next week's battle. Uh, and we'll see. I do believe it is against Chimpact. So we'll we'll move on to that. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Do appreciate y'all. And I'll see you guys back in a brand new video next time. Bye.